Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to build a portative film card and table for under 150 bucks. You don't need to be a professional builder, just a small set of tools, some acryl paint, brushes and a bit of duct tape. Let's get started. For the base I'm using metal tech card, the metal mini scaffold platform with fills, priced at just $104. It's a compact card that folds easily. It comes with two metal shelves, four wheels and a small side shelf. Note what the wheels are card's weak point. If you plan to use it outside, consider replacing them with a sturdy larger ones. The card claims to support up to 500 pounds, which is more than enough for transporting my equipment. Before building the card, I set two goals. Build a portable card with two tires for equipment transportation. Equip the card with full-fledged tabletop surface for my live streaming case. Unfortunately, due to its size, my live streaming case didn't fit on the card as it was, so I decided to reduce the height by cutting the top bars, starting by removing the side shelf. Yes, I had to let it go. To remove a side shelf, I used two branches to unscrew the two bolts holding the shelf. Next, I need to remove the shelf. It's snug, so I have to use a screwdriver to pry it off. All the optional, removing it made it easier for me to cut the top bars later. After removing the side shelf, I cut the top bars on both sides. Since I lack electric tools, I'm using a simple hack saw from my toolkit. I didn't cut perfectly, but no worries, I covered the irregularities with plastic plugs. Now the card is significantly lower, but the future top shelf will be at the hand level, it's exactly what I need. To build the top shelves and create a full-fledged tabletop, I decided to use a long board, measuring 1 by 7 inches. Similar boards can be found at Home Depot for around 20 bucks. I need to cut two pieces, each 41 inches long, to match the length of the metal shelves. To ensure the new shelf stay in place, I attach small blocks to the shelf.
as a result after installing the shelves they remain securely in place. With everything assembled, we now have two levels for loading the equipment. You might notice that the board size is small relative to the metal shelves, creating a significant gap between the wooden shelves causing them to shift easily. To fix this, I purchased another 1x4 inch board for $12, which perfectly fills the empty space. After choosing the flattest section, I marked the cut points and sawed off the necessary part. To keep the central part in place, I also added two small blocks. After installation it looks decent and serves its purpose as a tabletop for my case. In conclusion, I want to address the appearance of our film card and table. The yellow color is highly noticeable in reflections and could easily end up in the camera lens, something I would like to avoid. Moreover, I decided to cover all wooden surfaces with black acrylic paint. I have a nice surface for work. As for the card, I choose to cover it with insulation tape. According to the manufacturer, it resistance to both negative and positive temperatures. We will find out if it holds true in a few months. Anyway, it's the best solution for me, because I don't want to sand and paint the card. Plus, the paint easily peels off.
After several hours of diligent work, our film carton table is ready. Let's see it in action. The bottom tire can hold two camera cases, lights, etc., while the top tire can accommodate bags and tripods. You also can add a side mounts, for example, drum clamps, for additional equipment, for additional materials like paint, brushes, and tape. I spent an additional $10, bringing the total project cost close to $130. Add the cost of set of larger wheels and you will get a cool film card for under $200. That's all for today. Share your thoughts in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye!